Hey tribe, welcome to the HG Designs Crochet HDDC channel. Today's little vlog is all about my knitting progress. So if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're brand new, hi, hello. Um, returning viewers will know that crochet is my life and soul, but knitting has stolen a little bit of my attention, quite a bit of my attention. And I learned to knit um, by teaching myself how to knit socks two at a time last year and since then I have declared that I am going to make all of the clothes, all of the things um, and so knitting has become a lot lot more frequent in my life and this vlog is a roundup of some of the items that I'm making that are spread out all around me. So. Before I get started, social media, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and my blog, they are all HG Designs Crochet, except my Twitter is HG Designs Crow, C-R-O, didn't have enough letters. Okay, let's get started. I should start with one of the projects you've already seen, so we'll do that. Um, and that is, in a heap down here, it's this bamboo Aran, and last time I showed you, maybe last month or the start of the year, because we're in March now, I just, I was part way through one of my panels. Um, I'm sure I stitch marked it. Let's see, did I? Yes. So I was, can you see? I was there, I think. Um, that is my one of the panels so that could be the front and then I did this one as well the back and I did say I wanted to make a lot of progress so I've got two panels for my sweater so far or jumper I'm in the UK and they're jumpers but if you search sweater you find more patterns but it didn't stop there look 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 oh I have also, which I've now tangled completely, oh gosh, started my sleeves two at a time because I thought it'd be quicker. Um, oh, come on, Heather. I'm up to the elbow. <laughs> I'm elbow deep in sleeve land. Sleeves are so boring. Um, I haven't counted my increases properly, so I really need to just sit down and crack them on because I've got half an arm to go and then I can work out how to sew them together and then I'm gonna have a completed jumper. I must be about, they're looking at those, I feel like I've gone the wrong way because is one longer than the other? Hmm. I'm sure one's longer than the other. Oh no, it's it's okay. Phew. Um, so I think I've probably got about a couple of hours of knitting to get my sleeve done. Sleeves done, and then I've got however long it takes me to sew them together, and then I'm gonna have a completed sweater. Wow. So let me just put that out of the way. I am using before I forget. My glitter circulars, which I love, um, and they are my addies, and they are um, my nine mils on an eighty centimeter cable. If you're in the US, that's a number thirteen, and it's thirty two inches. Um, it's my size nine addy glitters. Can you see the glitter? Um, all about the glitter. Um, that pattern is the, it's from the Eat Me blog and it's the oversized knitted sweater. It's a free pattern and it looks like that. So I think that mine's going to be much shorter um, because the panels seem really small on me but that's fine. I like a cropped jumper. Um, yeah, it's going to be, so I've got high-waisted jeans on under here, so if I was just to quickly show you, 
Let's get my t-shirt out of the way. Hogwarts. It's gonna come to the top of my high-waisted jeans, which I'm fine with. That flatters my figure. Um, I might remake that pattern in different yarn and if that's the case then I can always make it a bit longer and can tweak it to fit me a bit more. So that's the Eat Me blog. I'm just using some bamboo aran that was gifted to me by my mother. So that's jumper number one, which is so close to being finished. I just need to crack on and do it. But uh, I started a couple of other projects instead. So let me show you those. Um, if you've watched my previous vlog, my um, bargain high street haul, thank you very much. If not, go have a look. I showed some yarn that I brought. I brought lots and lots of yarn. And I showed that at the end of that that I had caved and cast on a new jumper. So I'm using this chunky, oh so soft, 100% acrylic yarn, which I got from Pound World. It's a pound for 100 grams. So go look at the vlog and you can see all the details of what I picked up. Um, it is super soft. I don't think I've got, I've got the yarn band on this one. It looks like that. Um, it recommends a 9 to 10 mil needle, so I could use my Addis if I was to knit based on this. I also showed you in that vlog, the bargain haul, the patterns I've picked up from charity shops, which I've just got down here. Ooh. And I picked up this, which cost me, it's a little bit mucky which cost me, um, I think it was like 25p, 50p from a charity shop. And it's a jumper dress in this crazy pattern, crazy yarn. I'm making it in the grey. I started it last night. Um, so I've actually cracked on pretty well. Considering I'm also crocheting every day. If you are a crochet or like watching crochet, watch my crochet vlog. I talk about how I've pledged to crochet every day in March. So I'm making to fit a size 30 inch. Um, and so I need 700 grams of yarn. I've got a thousand kilo of this yarn. Um, I will say though that it's got a deep v-neck which I don't want, I want it to be, mm, I either want it round neck or I want to find a way to make a more tapered neck which is more on trend. I have never knit from a pattern other than socks and that jumper so I'm not sure how I will manage to alter I'm gonna have to find some knitting friends ask very nicely at my Sunday knitting group if they can work out how I can alter it um, but I don't really want the v-neck it's just not stylish at the moment um, so yes I want to amend the neck other than that I really really like it even with the the 80s sleeves going on. Um, let me show you my progress so far. I'm in a whole world of ribbing. Um, there's there's my mistake that I've made which I'm now showing off. I don't care. Um, I can't really stretch it out because I'm using straights. I didn't want to wait to get more needles and I've spent so much money and I've got Edinburgh Yarn Festival so I'm using my straights. These are my Kath Kidston bamboo needles. Um, I have the whole set, which I can grab. I've got the whole set. Um, this was brought for me years and years and years ago when I showed an interest in knitting. Um, there's a set missing that I'm using. So I just figured I would just crack on with what I've got rather than waiting to get my needle set which I've eyed up on Wool Warehouse but I've 
I've spent enough so far, so that will come in future vlogs. Um, let's stretch out as much as I can, which is nothing really, but that is a huge amount of ribbing, um, and it's the hem at the bottom. Can you see that all of that is ribbing, and I'm about here where I'm due to start extending, though I don't understand the pattern, so I've put a shout out on Facebook for help. Um, the problem with knitting is if you make a mistake, it's so much harder to correct than if you had crocheted it. So I'm hesitant to start before I really know what I'm doing. Failing that, I'll go visit my nana and get my nanny to, to steer me in the right direction. Um, the yarn's so soft, it's so chunky, it's so thick. I need to get it done sooner rather than later, otherwise it's going to have to wait till next winter to to wear it. Um, it's so heavy as well. So this is my, I'm on my second ball. Um, so there's 100 grams plus this little bit in there. It's, it weighs a ton. Um, I'm going to admit, I didn't check the um, gauge before I started. I know, I need to. I might just measure a little, a little chunk. Um, the pattern calls for 700 grams of chunky. It also asks for six and a half mil needles, which is a US 810, and five and a half needles, which is a US size eight. Um, I've cast the ribbing on on five, because I don't have five and a half, which is why I mean I haven't checked my gauge. But I do have six and a half straights, which my nan gifted me a while back. Um, these pony ones that she didn't want. So I can knit on them, but can you see how small it is? And I need to increase on this. So this might not go much further because I think I'm going to have to go and get some circulars after all. Um... I can always put that on a needle stitch holder and start the rib for the front though. I don't have to wait. So that is my, well, that is the tiniest bit of my jumper dress, which I'm really looking forward to seeing make up. Um, needles aside, I think I'd enjoy it more on circulars. It definitely feels really heavy. But it is so enjoyable, it's so thick and soft. Hopefully it feels nice to wear. I mean it feels nice when you do that, but it's different to having it on you I guess. Um, so I'm in a world of ribbing and in actual fact, when I looked at the pattern, I'm pretty sure, yeah it's pal to knit to pretty much throughout, so it's ribbing the whole way, woo, um, I need to, uh, how much does it say increase by, well there's going to be 70, 63 stitches, <coughs> excuse me, and I cast on 56, so it's not getting that much bigger, I'm definitely going to have to check my sizing because that doesn't look like it's going to fit around my body. But that is the start so far and I'm really excited and I'm really proud because I'm following a knitting pattern. So that's sweater number two on the go. Number three, I'm um, in an iron weather to show you because I can't remember the pattern I was following. And I made a big mistake and it needs cutting, it needs ripping, frogging. So I started making a cropped vest out of this marble chunky yarn that I just had stashed. Called for 15 mils. These were a freebie from a magazine which are normally up there and the ends I think are up there. Yes they are because they keep falling off. Um, made a mistake, ripped it back and it's never really recovered and I was mad at it if it got parked. Do you like the yarn? It's a bit busy for me. 
I mean, if you've watched my crochet vlog, the burgundy that I'm making a jumper dress out of is busy, let alone this. Socks, I could wear that, but on my actual body, I don't know if I can wear that. So, I was really enjoying it, and because it's so chunky, it, it worked up really quickly on such huge needles, which is more preferable to the 5mm I'm doing here. Comment below if you like the yarn, then I think I will carry on, maybe I'll persevere, see what the actual top looks like. It also makes me work fast because the, the colour changes. If it didn't have that purple, I might be more into it. I don't know. So comment below and um, I will insert a picture of the design that it should be. Let me know what you think. I mean, what's that? That looks like a huge hole. I'm definitely going to have to do some rescue work on this. Oh, good gosh. Um, I do like it. I'm just really hesitant about the colour. I don't want to put all that work in and hate it at the end, but I'm not really going to know unless I make it. And let's be honest, what else am I going to use this for? I may as well do it. If I hate it, I could always just rip it down, give it away. It's practice. Um, and the, oh, not hooks, these are needles. The needle situation needs sorting out. I want an interchangeable set of needles. Um, so let me know what sets you use because I feel like it's these are getting in the way of my projects. I mean, this one might not progress because I don't have the space on the needles. How did people cope in the old days before they had circulars? They must they must have had bean poles or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm putting obstacles in my own way. I mean, that could. You could just do that, I guess. And I've got all that space. But I would like an interchangeable set of needles. So let me know what you enjoy working on and what you would recommend. Um, definitely want the different cable lengths. That's why I want the interchangeables. Um, ideally, something that could go all the way down to suck and then all the way up to this. Does that exist? Um, and then prices. I know some of them are like... £70 and then you get some that are cheaper but if it's a product I'm going to be using a lot I'd rather invest and it last than have something rubbish like this where the ends fall off so interchangeable needle sets let me know and then let me know what you think to this colour and whether I should persevere or whether I should frog I'm going to have to rip some of it back anyway because holes should it be completed comment below so that's the projects i've got on the go i am a novice knitter i've only made socks and i am venturing into the big bad world of making garments so if you've got any help support tips let me know below um thank you for watching comment like subscribe find me on social media hit me up Happy knitting, happy making, see you again soon.